Folks, today what I want to talk about right now, we're right in the middle of summer and it is so hot out here. And I have these phone calls about my AC system is not really cooling well. One of the things I want to point out is the outdoor condensers are very important. You have to get these things cleaned and uh, when you guys your service techs come out and your AC people come out, they need to take these covers off at least once a year, maybe twice a year, and clean these off. You always you always wanna make sure the power's off on these units because if you don't, and there's electrical wire open for some particular reason, you get yourself electrocuted. So that's the very first thing is always make sure the power's off. So I went to Lowe's and I purchased some Coil cleaner for her because I did it on the way over here real quick. You can get, uh, your AC guy will have it. They have many different types of uh, coil cleaners on the market. Okay, but what I like to do is, is just come in here and saturate the coil as much as I possibly can. And what we do, we always start on the outdoor coil. I'm just going to start at the bottom and work my way up here. And I'm not going to drag this out. What you need to do, guys, you need to really saturate this coil really saturated a lot okay just really just pour it on there the best thing to use is a bottle sprayer I just don't have mine with me today but you can go get you a sprayer for like 15 bucks and just saturate the inside and outside of it okay you see how it's running down now with the uh, well that means it's getting saturated here I'm gonna come over here and I'm gonna do this side over here a little bit you also see at the bottom where the uh, landscape has cut the grass your grass in here that corrodes this coil too. That's another reason why you really want to make sure you clean this out because over time that will corrode the coil. You got little spider webs on it. You've got little lint balls on it. You got grass all over it because what's happening, the air is pulling through these and going up to the top. It's, it's, it's breathing. It's got to dissipate that heat off the system, which the heat's coming from your house. So if this can't breathe, it'd be like you going down the road with a mask on. You can't breathe well. Same thing here. You have to clean these up, okay? And what we're going to do is that there's a specific way you want to clean these. Take, take your water hose. Let me set this. What you really want to do is, is shoot your water down from the top down to the bottom, okay? I'm going to the top, and you'll watch all the studs run down to the bottom, you see? Now, the thing about it is you want to make sure you rinse these things until the coils are spotless clean because there's chemicals on top of it. I'm just going to take my time nice and slow and go down. You can see the studs running down. That's moving dirt. See all the dirt coming down? You'd be surprised how dirty that is. Now, you owners that are capable, go buy your own coil cleaner and take these doors off and you can clean them yourself and you'll be surprised how much easier the house will cool down and how much easier this thing runs to dissipate the heat. It really works well, it works wonders. Because I've had times when the head pressure would be up to 300, 350 pounds, 400 PSI, I'll clean these coils and drop it down to 250, 300 where it should be, okay? Depending on if it's 14 a or 22 system. I'm gonna do this side here, and I see the sub? See what I've worked out here? Now, I'm gonna do the same thing here, but what I'm really gonna do now, I'm gonna go inside, and I'm going to wash the inside. I'm going to do the same thing. That way it pushes all the dirt through. Now, I'm going to do the same thing here. I'm just going to wash it down, all the way down to the bottom. It doesn't hurt anything inside when you uh, get this because the water will drain out. <coughs> Now, if you come out here, you'll see, you'll see what I'm talking about. See how the water is going through? I'm pushing any of the excess dirt out that might be in there. I 
Also, you want to rinse off the bottom too, okay? Okay, I'm going to pull this back over here and I'm just going to rinse this off. Same thing, top to bottom. You, if you look real close, you see the dirt coming off of it. You can see the dirt. This unit's about two years old, so just look how much dirt you've gotten within a couple of years. Same thing, I'm gonna go inside and rinse off. Same thing. You wanna be careful not to bend the fins. You don't want to, these things bend very easily. They're just Fins. You got you to be real careful. See how easy I moved that right there? Just want to be real careful not bend these fins, okay? So don't get the water hose too close. Just be careful because that will slow the heat uh, down trying to get the heat off the coil. Okay. okay folks, wrapping this thing up, I always try to clean off the uh, denser pad real good. And I'm not gonna take time, guys, and put this cover back on because it's nothing but screws. I'll put this back on after the video. I hope you got something from this. Had your AC guy clean this thing at least once a year. This thing dissipates the heat quicker. It causes your electricity to be a lower bill. It'll extend the life of the equipment tremendously. If you like this video, please share, please subscribe, and please comment, and thank you for watching.